Hey, welcome back to Art Away, and uh, for this video, I just want to talk about not necessarily this drawing, uh, just as something that I, I did recently of uh, Joe from the, uh, from the Last of Us, which is a really cool show, by the way. Uh, but it's what I uh, drew this with, and it's with this pencil here. And I got this from Edgestone Paper, and this is, I think it's about 10 bucks or something like that. And this is a metal pencil. And I think you guys might have seen some of this kind of stuff going online. Um, I mean, from other brands where they sell these kind of pencil with a metal tip on it. So here is, here's a little extra tip that they give you here. So this is metal and it's supposed to last a long time because it is obviously metal. So it's just kind of, when you draw on it, it's just kind of putting a little bit of the tip, the metal, I guess the metal onto the paper, which is very strange to me. Um, that's why I decided to try it out just to see how it is. And this is, uh, again, this is the edge stone paper. So it draws pretty well, um, but let me show you what happens when you draw, let's say like on, on a regular paper. So this is like a regular uh, sketchbook paper here. And so when you draw here, it becomes really light. This is almost like, I don't know, maybe like a 2H, you know, if you're talking about graphite pencil. So it doesn't work that well um, on regular paper, but when you draw it on these edge stone paper, this really smooth paper here, it works pretty well. And I'm not gonna do it here because I have another sketchbook, my old sketchbook. Is, I don't know how much more I'm gonna draw on that, but let me, I can draw it here. Uh, this is of the, uh, the Wednesday drawing here. So on this one here, um, give me one second, let me move things out of the way. So let me show you what happens when I draw on this kind of surface. It becomes pretty dark. And it's again, the paper is very smooth and this thing is just kind of gliding over it. And for comparison, let me show you, let's see, this would be a 4B pencil here. Uh, this will be a regular pencil. Again, this is much darker and you can hear by the sound of it, you know, it's scraping it, it kind of feels like, you know, what you expect when you draw and stuff. But with this thing here, it feels a little bit different. It's a little bit sc less scratchier than than the graphite. Definitely a little bit smoother here. And let me compare to, I've been using this as well um, recently, which is kind of fun. I think this is like a 2B lead. So just to compare it, okay, so it's pretty close to the, the 2B, I think. And here's the HB, let me write this down. This is 4B, and here, here's the HB right here. This is the number two pencil. So again, the HB a little bit harder, uh, soft, 2B is softer here. But in terms of darkness, it's pretty close, I think. I think these are actually okay. It feels a little bit lighter. Yeah, see if I push it really hard, this is pretty much the darkest you can get. And it's probably closer to, well, I guess the 2B, I kind of push in pretty hard. But here's the 4B. Okay, So even if I push it in really hard, I mean, that's the, the darkness you can get. But the really cool thing about this is that it stays sharp, you know, pretty much for my, uh, for my in, you know, entire drawing here on the first one. So it was kind of strange as I'm drawing because you, you notice that when I when I sketch, I'll, I'll do some of this, right, whatever, and then I'll, I'll keep turning my pencil because in order to get a sharper edge. But with this thing, it's like I, I keep turning the pencil. I feel like, wait a minute, I don't need to turn my pencil because this thing is really sharp. So I kind of end up skipping that step and I'm able to just keep drawing, which is kind of interesting. And let's see, after one drawing, I can kind of tell that you know, part of it is a little bit shaved off, so, you know, it did get a little bit duller, but overall, you, you know, it doesn't really change the, uh, change much in terms of the sharpness. So it, it is kind of strange, and I think you can see it here. Um, as I'm drawing, you can see that the lines are very consistent overall, whereas, you know, from, from my other drawings, I noticed that when I'm sketching or whatever, um, it will start to change and then I'll end up, you know, sharpening it or, you know, keep turning my pencil and things like that. So 
it is very interesting that you know how this thing works. Uh, in terms of weight, it is very heavy. Um, you know, it's definitely heavier than your regular pencil, which is nice because I do like the uh, the extra weight. I feel like I can get a little bit more control when it's you know kind of got some weight to it. So overall, I think this yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna start using this uh, for now uh, just to see where it leads because it is it is. It is different. It is something new, and but it only kind of works on these kind of um, stone paper, so you won't be able to draw on a regular sketch pad. So if you have one of these, you know you might want to want to check it out. All right, so that is uh, pretty much it for this video. I just want to show you, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit excited about this <laughs> this new tool here, uh, especially with this paper, which I really like. So uh, I'll push this a little bit further and show you guys the final drawing. Alright, so I'll just keep using this for a while and see how that goes. I'll give you guys another update whenever, whenever I have it. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.